Welcome back. Ukraine and Russia tensions were at the top of the agenda when President Biden hosted the new German chancellor for his first visit to the White House. The U.S. and its allies continue to call on Russia to choose peace while warning of severe consequences should it invade Ukraine. Natalie Brand has more from the White House. President Biden and Germany's new chancellor, Olaf Scholz, stressed a united response in addressing the standoff at the Russia-Ukraine border. Today, the chancellor and I discussed our close cooperation and developed a strong pa package of sanctions that are going to clearly demonstrate international resolve and impose swift and severe consequences if Russia violates Ukraine's sovereignty. Another key topic, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline to transport natural gas from Russia directly to Germany. The notion that Nord Stream, T would go, Nord Stream 2 would go forward with an invasion by the Russians is just not going to happen. After meeting with his EU counterpart, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said they are working to protect Europe from any disruptions. We're talking with governments and major producers around the world about surging their production and distribution capacity. Biden administration officials still don't believe Russian President Vladimir Putin has made a decision, but they say it's clear he's put the pieces in place to act quickly if he does decide to invade Ukraine. Satellite images show Russian troops in Belarus are now just 30 miles away from Ukraine's border, with military exercises there expected to begin later this week. Meanwhile, more planes carrying U.S. troops landed in Poland Monday morning as the U.S. tries to bolster NATO allies in Eastern Europe. French President Emmanuel Macron met with Putin Monday in hopes of de-escalating tensions, saying the continent is at a critical crossroads. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.